I've also been getting help with the house from a friend of mine called Peter. You'll learn a lot about Peter in this show. He's one of my oldest, dearest friends. He's hard to explain in a short way, in a sort of succinct way. I find a good way of giving you a bit of an idea of what Peter's like is to tell you that he once tried to spend 24 hours in a 24-hour Tesco. <laughs> It was a challenge. <laughs> he got kicked out after 21 hours for trying on too many clothes. <laughs> I've known him for, like, since we were about 12. We didn't go to the same school, but we had similar friendship groups. We've grown up together. We, fell, we didn't fall out, but we fell apart because he went to Japan after university, and he's just been back for about a year, and now he's back. He's doing little jobs, different things, trying to make ends meet. One of the jobs he does, because he speaks fluent Japanese, is to teach people in England, Japanese people in England, how to speak English. And he's got a middle-aged student called Aiko who he set some homework for. Uh, the homework was an email. I pride myself on writing emails. Ico's written, I think, the greatest email in the history of email. <laughs> the homework was to write an informal email of complaint with an aggressive tone. <laughs> this is what she actually wrote. Dear Sarah, you probably know why I'm writing you, you bitch. <laughs> email with that from now on. <laughs> you smashed glasses and made terrible racket. It was so evil. Daft bastard. <laughs> Whatever. Make up for it immediately. Bob's your uncle, Ico. Isn't that strong? <laughs> Full marks, of course. It's hard to learn a language. I'm trying to learn German at the minute. I went with German because I just thought it was funny. Hazelnut, Hasselnuss. It's a funny language. <laughs> and I'm using Duolingo. Do people use Duolingo? It gives you like a composite sentence. It sounds like I'm sponsored. I'm not. Like, it's just good. It's a good app. Um, they give you composite sentences. They get progressively harder. Um, one of my friends is on really advanced German at the minute. And one of the sentences he had to translate the other week is, it is a war crime. I'm not sure <laughs> when that's going to be useful, really, sort of wandering around Berlin. This is how a crowd is disgusting. It is a war crime, how disgusting it is. <laughs> so, yeah, Peter's helping me out. Peter is, he's a really funny guy. He loves comedy, and we go to the pub a lot, and we sort of riff on comedic ideas. He loves to create comedy characters. He likes to create the ideas of what people could be like. And he's created one that I love, which is the idea of a homeless man who's into really specific things. So, you know that most homeless people will ask for enough for a cup of tea, that kind of thing. He likes the idea of a homeless man that goes, Sorry, mate, I can see you're busy. You haven't got a manual for a Fiat Punto, have you? Just... <laughs> specific stuff. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I shouldn't ask, I shouldn't ask. You haven't got a Fabergé egg, have you? Just really <laughs> niche. Brilliant, brilliant. Idea. <laughs> God, that was so good, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, stick around, watch some more, if you like. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>